And so we're moving away from the beach area now, and we're going to take a look at two complexes that are here on the left side. They both have some unique features that we'll talk about. The, the first one is the Eden section. And this is, let's say, a little more upscale section of the resort for families. So we stayed in Daisy, which is the least expensive. It's the farthest away from the beach. But it had some nice things for families as well. This one has these on the first floor junior suites that are swim up. You can basically come down a set of steps and you're in the water right in front of your room. Uh, we're going to go through here and this is still part of that same section. You'll see there's somebody over there on the left in the water enjoying it. And each section here at uh, the Ocean Riviera Paradise had its own pool. So this pool that's coming up on the right is the Eden Pool. Now, these pools were open to people. With one exception, the pools were open to anybody. It didn't matter where you stayed on the resort. Now you can see on the right, there's a pool bar. And this, like I said, this is a family section. So there are people with children here. Take a quick look at the pool bar. In this section, tended to be a little quieter than the adults only section we'll look at in a minute but basically you can see just a very nice pool all the pools had a shallow entry on one end that we could call a zero barrier entry because it would just slope down and there was several buildings in a row here that had the same configuration with the swim out and we're going to go up here and just walk along and take a look at it. You see they had a net out there to play water volleyball. This was a, a very, very nice area. If you wanted to be close to the beach and like the idea of a swim out, like I said it's a little more expensive than some of the rooms farther away from the beach in the daisy section. This is probably a great place for families with teenagers because that would let them uh, enjoy the access to the pool right outside the door and the main pool. This pool doesn't have any water features for little ones. The daisy section is much more geared for people that had smaller children. And we're going to come up here and we're going to go around uh, past where you get your towels. And we're going to actually see three restaurants and a wedding gazebo coming up. You'll want to stay and watch that. If you got value out of the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. It really helps YouTube know that there's content worthwhile in it. They'll share it with other people. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you think you'd like one of those swim out suites. I thought they were quite interesting. Now, we're going to go up uh, the road headed in the direction of the main lobby, but it's a long ways away. What we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're take a quick look at a wedding gazebo. We saw them setting up in another video, they were setting up a wedding pavilion on the beach. But they also have this gazebo that's here for weddings. Again, very attractive. Next to it are some restaurants. Before that, though, do me a favor. If you get um, value out of this, enjoy my content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get notified when I release another video. And subscriptions help as well. Thanks. This is their Mexican restaurant, Margarita. And we ate there. We really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was very good. It's not your typical Tex-Mex. It's a little more maybe authentic Mexican. But it was very good. We really enjoyed the food. And then as we come up on the corner of the building up here on the left, what you'll find is that that's their steakhouse. And Let's just say that they serve very, very good steaks. My wife and I both enjoyed our meal there. thought it was just uh, really nice. They have an outside patio that in the evenings probably is fairly comfortable. When it's like we're walking right now, you're not going to want to sit out there because it's really hot. Our last section of residences we're going to look at is coming up here on the left. This is the El Beso section. And El Beso in Spanish means the kiss. And what it is, is the adults only section. It's designed to be a little more romantic. It does also have uh, the same swim out junior suites that the Eden section has. 
And the big difference between the two complexes is that El Beso is adults only. And we'll go up here, we're going to take a look at it. We'll walk by the pool and get a chance to see what's going on with the pool as it's always hopping. But it was a, a gorgeous day. I, I really like the concept of the swim out room. It's not that you can swim, well, I guess you can swim lengthwise a long ways on it. It's interesting too that by all the pools they have areas of sand so you can put your lounger on the sand if you wanted to. They, all four of the complexes do have their own pools. All four of the pools have pool bars, uh, which is different than some of the other ocean properties that, that we would visit uh, during our trip south. And then you can see they got a, a pool volleyball game going on. And people hanging out in the water in front of their property or in front of their room. We're going to stop up here in a minute and listen to a little bit of what's happening. Because there's uh, typically a DJ, typically music going on. So let's give a listen to what's happening on the outside. <laughs> We're going to walk uh, along and finish uh, walking. There is a couple of buildings in this complex, but we're going to just walk up uh, past this one and we're going to head over to the Creperia, which is over there on the left coming up. And one of the things you'll notice, all of the pool areas have these uh, zero barrier entries. So for somebody that can't deal with steps or ladders, uh, you can walk down this nice sloping entry to get into the water to enjoy the pool. All in all, we thought that this property was really well laid out, very well designed for people to enjoy no matter what your mobility situation was.